Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the O and the OA retirement visa. Now, I put up a video last week or about last week from the time of this video being made as well as possibly being published where I asked viewers, I asked folks that are frequent viewers of the channel, you know, kind of what do you want me to talk about? As I said at the time, you know, coming off of Thailand reopening and it not being such an ongoing exigent thing, you know, sort of an urgent need for up-to-date information on this channel on every little nuance of Thai immigration moment to moment as to what's going on, you know, what, what would you kind of like to talk to me kind of generally about? And one thing folks brought up to me was something I brought up some years ago, which is the, okay, so when they brought in the insurance requirement associated with the OA retirement visa, I mentioned it at the time, I mentioned it since, that I thought it's not outside the realm of possibility that the O retirement visa could one day see those requirements imposed as well. In essence, a kind of merger, if you will, of the O and the OA category, so it's all just kind of one big retirement visa category. And for those who are unaware, O retirement visas are generally issued and extended here in the Kingdom of Thailand, while OA retirement visas are issued at Thai embassies and consulates outside of Thailand, and then they can be extended by Thai immigration here in Thailand. The big difference between the two, one of the biggest differences is the OA retirement visa requires 3 million baht, that's $100,000 now, as of now, as of the fourth quarter of 2022, or the beginning of the fourth quarter, the, the OA requires this insurance in order to not only get an OA, but to maintain an OA. With respect to an O retirement visa, that it does not have those requirements. There, there's not that requirement associated with the O retirement visa. Now, I've done videos in the past where I've said, look, it, it, to my mind, it's not outside the realm of possibility that we could see those requirements also be for the O as well. So again, in essence, a sort of merger, if you will, of the two requirements. As of the time of this video, I don't think that that's imminently going to happen. I don't even think that's on the reasonably foreseeable horizon. Do I think it's possible at some point in the future you could get an immigration officer or a head of the immigration division that says, no, we need to kind of consolidate these requirements and get them all into one sort of one place? It's possible, but at least for the immediately foreseeable future, and for even kind of the longer term, kind of the medium term, if you will, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon.